Hi, Clove. Nice to meet you. Hey, Yosef. Hey, Balaji. Clove, uh, could you give a quick introduction uh, about e-commerce and your role within the company? Sure. I'm Claudio. I've been working in e-commerce for the last three years. My career started working in e-commerce. I had a bicycle brand about eight years ago. And currently at e-commerce, I'm leading the analytics practice. So I'm leading all the analytics uh, projects for the last actually one year. I started as a senior e-commerce consultant. So that's what I'm doing now. Can you talk about how reporting was being handled at e-commerce before you engaged with us? It was uh, quite painful. Actually, when I joined the company, we were just discovering the fact that there's quite some reports that Amazon was providing back in 2020. So we figured there should be a way we can do it uh, automatically uh, in a sense that we had to download the reports. So we had our supports download them. Um, we came up with some kind of a semi-automatic methodology to use Google Sheets and kind of put everything together. But that was quite painful because everyone had to invest quite some time in downloading the reports. And then me and one colleague of mine had to fix the formulas, fix all the bugs, all the issues. Data had different formats on Amazon. Amazon changed the formats quite often. So it was quite painful and quite uh, time intensive. So that's how we did it before starting to, to work with uh, SARS. But, so did you use any of the third-party tools uh, to solve for this uh, problem club before engaging us? We did not. What we did is um, we had an initiative to do it ourselves internally. Mm -hmm. So um, we hired a team of, of developers. We've encountered some issues. We figured the environment is so complex and it's not that easy for an agency to, to do it by itself. Uh, so that project failed. So that's when we, we were looking for something else. And that's how we were uh, coming across SARS. It was the right timing, uh, fulfilling our need. We were coming from manual reporting. We had an initiative of connecting to the API ourselves, which failed. And then you guys reached and you proposed your solution. And it was kind of a perfect match of what we needed at that point. Got it. Can you maybe double down on uh, why your in-house initiative failed, Club? Can you list down maybe the top reasons? It's very complex and the Amazon's API changes quite a lot. Amazon in this very good for agencies and for brand initiative to offer more data, they're changing the, the tools that they have quite a lot. So for an agency to be able to adapt with that speed, it's quite difficult. You really have to invest a lot. And these economies of scale that SARS actually provides, it's it's the it's the USP that's that's super strong. You guys are able to have a larger team that's able to adapt quick to this to these changes. So I think this is the main po uh, pain point because in terms of addressing an API, okay, we had a team that was quite confident in in, in doing so. That wasn't the problem, but the environment changing so quick was what was um, super tricky for us and what caused us problems. We had an initial time span of about six months. And at the end of six months, we were actually figuring out that things changed so quick that we barely managed to adapt to the changes before we actually understand what's going on. The team was not experienced in e-commerce uh, API. So maybe that was an issue too. I think your team is, is also very well uh, positioned here because you guys know the e-commerce industry. The fact that the API is it's complex and it changes quite often. That what that's what uh, caused us uh, to to stall that project. Got it. And how much did you spend on that project, Club? Quite a lot, quite a lot. I I won't say the numbers, yeah. obviously because of, of of internal reasons, but it was quite a lot. Uh, again, I won't say the number, but large amount, I'd say. Can you touch upon the solution that we built for you, Club? Yes, so we currently have a quite advanced solution. So we're connected to the Amazon's API. In fact, we're actually connected to Shopify, Facebook, and Google Ads API too. So um, the solution that we have is, is starting off from the API point, either it is, as I said, Amazon, Facebook, and so on. Then you guys help us with the data transformation. So the ETL process is gets quite complex. Data is raw from Amazon. Uh, we learn that it's also quite difficult to ETL the data. So you guys help us with the DBT code there uh, too. Then data is stored in um, in a database of, of choice for us where it comes 
quite clean and in, in a nice format. And then we visualize data with a, a BI tool. It's not a secret, it's, it's, it's Power BI. Uh, we look forward for maybe having something else in the future, but for the for the scope that we currently have, I think Power BI is, uh, is, is quite efficient. So we have four layers that we, uh, we address here. We're also using internally Tableau to analyze data where maybe we're running some SQL queries in the database and then we're exporting some CSVs that the team is then analyzing for forecasts or any kind of uh, deep dives. So um, that's the structure that we, we currently have and that you guys helped us build. What is the roadmap for this solution in your eyes, Club? And how do you think uh, it can help you in your operations? Right, so there's quite some some new tools that Amazon recently released, and I'm referring to Amazon Marketing Cloud and Amazon Marketing Stream. We're really looking forward for adding that to our dashboards. We're currently just getting a bit more literate with the Amazon Marketing Cloud, with the team trying to to understand exactly how the how the schema looks and what we can actually extract. But the, the end goal, at least for the end of this year, is to have some of the outputs from the Amazon Marketing Cloud shown in our reports, because I think that's that's quite helpful for, for the brands we're working with. Some of them do DSP. So if you do DSP, there's, there's quite some data that you can actually get through the Amazon Marketing Cloud. So that's one of the main things that we want to focus on. Another thing is to do a bit more accurate forecasting. So because we're connected to the API since mid last year, which makes us have data back to July 2020, we already have quite some history for the clients uh, that we work with. And as you know, forecasting is efficient if you have quite some historical data. So at this point, we're confident that almost three years of data that we have is is quite good for us. So we're looking forward for implementing some more advanced forecasting uh, methodologies to be able to to help our clients um, forecast their, their sales better. Are you using this solution to acquire new customers faster or acquire more customers? Club? Is that a use case that you're currently using the solution? For sure. Okay. For sure. Giving, giving our clients access to their data aggregated and especially when you talk with clients and you present that you're able to connect to Shopify, to any kind of, of D2C, or we're actually able to connect to marketplaces in a matter of weeks. This is a very strong selling proposition, and this is something that brands are very, uh, very happy with. So in the sales process, telling the clients that we, we give them access to their data and we can actually add any other endpoints on top of it, it's super, it's super helpful for the for the sales team. How would you rate the overall experience of working with Saras Club? Ten out of ten. So for sure, the the experience I had with you guys was was very strong. I'm happy to to tell everyone that uh, you guys really know what you're doing. Your team is very strong, always helpful, and always there to to help. As I said, because the environment is very complex. Obviously, there's some things that maybe don't work as as expected sometimes, but the the whole engagement with you, I'd say, was a ten out of ten. I'm really not uh, over inflating the the numbers here just because this is a testimonial, but really is is a partnership that we value and uh, we look forward to to keep in the future.